Welcome back to the Chaos Beauty channel. And no, that's not the name of this channel, but I promise you it should be. I can't change it anymore. But oh my goodness, we are going to do a story time. We're gonna try Ipsy products, okay? Because I still owe you Ipsy product try-ons, but while I'm trying them on so that I can give you first impressions, I'm also going to tell you exactly what's going on and I'm gonna add this to the freaking list because it has been a week. You know my Farsali, right? The um, rose gold elixir that I absolutely love? It's been leaking, why? I didn't close it properly and it's all over my vanity. <sighs> But I told Juan, right? I was like, oh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna film a video because I feel like I need some me time, you know? And I wanna play around with some of my product. And he was like, go do a story time because people love it when you're just like venting. You keep it real and you're like a normal human, of course, and stuff happens. The stress level that I've been under, look at these breakouts. I don't really break out like that, but these are like stress breakouts. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Glow Recipe, uh, Pre recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist. We know we like this for foundation. I'm just gonna pop on some of the Smashbox Halo. It is the I have lashes stuck to it. It is the healthy glow all in one tint and moisturizer. Listen, when it comes to social media, people don't have their like stuff together 24 7. I think I think we've gotten used to faking the funk. We ended up going shopping for Mother's Day. We went out, we had a great time. Everything was amazing balls. My mom doesn't really go out because she is mostly bedridden. So we managed to get her on a scooter and get her out. She went shopping, we were having a great time. Everything is freaking wonderful. Later on in the day, I realized the insides of my mouth is just burning, but I don't know why. It's just extra sensitive. And it is even more sensitive to things like chili peppers, even pepperoni. And I was like, why is my entire mouth on fire and I didn't understand why. I've done some research. It's getting better, but it seems as though I am allergic now all of a sudden to, or potentially am allergic to red chili flakes. We had pizza on Sunday night because I wasn't gonna cook. It's Mother's Day. We're like, you know what? Restaurants are crazy. Let's just order out. We ordered some pizza because it's what everyone wanted and I added red chili pepper, like the red flakes, but I always do that. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, my body rejected it. The whole inside of my mouth was just on fire. It almost felt as though, you know when you have like really, really, really hot soup and you don't blow on it enough and you char the inside of your mouth to the point that you have no taste buds? I was there. It's getting better, but that's where I was. So mm, I'm gonna go ahead and start like the contouring process. I really wanna try this contour liquid wand thing by KVD. So we're gonna do one of these and hope for the best. This is more like a gel serum which is why I went in with a tinted moisturizer. It makes sense, and to be fair, I really wanna go lightweight with makeup today. So what else happens? Monday, I wake up to a flat tire. So I ended up driving Juan's pickup truck, which now I'm obsessed with his pickup truck, but I ended up having to drive the pickup because I had a flat tire, and Ty ended up going to school late. Great, not a big deal, right? We got the tire fixed, it is what it is. Look how like weight that is. I don't mind this. I think it's actually really cool. By the way, this tinted moisturizer is slightly darker than I need it to be, so I'm gonna backlight in a sun, so I'll use my concealer to brighten certain areas. So Monday, we end up getting a flat. Okay, great, not a big deal. Those kinds of things happens. Tuesday afternoon, the dog is acting funny. We have a dog now in the house. Although my allergies to pet dander, specifically dogs, has gotten somehow under control. Don't ask me why. I'm still working on it. I'm doing things behind the scenes. It seems to be working. Girl, the dog's acting funny. All right, you know, he may be a little under the weather. We'll keep an eye on him. I'm gonna go in with the glowish. We woke up in the morning and Mr. Judge, that's his name, Mr. Judge had explosive diarrhea overnight and then had diarrhea for like 24 hours. It seems like he ate something. I don't know if it was one of the palm tree leaves because I have a whole bunch of palm trees in the background or a seed or what it was. He's better now. It's completely flushed out. But we were dealing with explosive dog diarrhea. That was a whole nother thing within itself because we were concerned. We're like, okay, you know what? If he doesn't get any better by tomorrow, we're just gonna go ahead and take him to the vet. He's already registered. He's got his vaccines. Like, like we're exactly where we need to be. So it kind of is what it is. We waited and obviously we fed him, gave him water, kept him hydrated, gave him love and attention. Doggy's doing good. Now we're gonna go ahead and shower my mom. This was Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday, whatever. So I told my sister, oh, I like, I'll help you, you know, because again, my mom is bedridden and she puts a lot of effort. However, if my sister can get a little bit of help, why not? Like she's always taking care of my mom. She is my mom's caregiver. You know that Timu shower head that I loved so much, so I had to get a second one. My mom had not seen the shower head. She sees the shower head, falls in love with it. There goes Jotty. 
I don't know how I do this, right? But I am so passionate about that damn shower head, right? That I'm showing her the freaking shower head and I'm like obsessed with the shower head. So now she's loving the shower head. She almost fell inside the shower and I wasn't intentionally trying to sell it to her, but I was so hyped about it. You know how I get. And I was like, oh my God, and look at this and look how cool. You can turn it off, you can turn it on. And my mom almost falls in the shower. And I was like, oh my God, like I lost track of where we were and what was going on. We're gonna use the Dominique. What are you? This is the Smooth and Blur setting powder. This one is in translucent. I'm excited to try this baby. It's very, very, very finely milled. So we shall see how good it is. I hope it's kind of lightweight though, under the eye, because I wanna keep the skin simple. When I look down at my sister, my sister is completely soaked in water. Turns out as I'm moving the shower head to show my mom everything that he could do, <laughs> I was sweating my sister and had no freaking clue because I tend to be clueless a lot of times, you know, I'm with family, I'm having a good time, my kids are taken care of, so at this point, I'm literally just having a good time with them. And my sister took a shower with fully clothes because I ended up wetting her with the freaking shower head too. So that was a lot within itself. And you guys know I did a vlog where we were going through farmer's markets trying to find fruits that my mom was requesting so that I can ship them out to Jersey. Well, um, we came up with the beautiful idea, like, hey, everyone get ready and let's take mom over to the farmer's market. So I go ahead, everyone's stressed, they're waiting for me. I'm trying to get my stuff together. Long story short, I did Cam's hair and handed her my cell phone. Now in my defense, my hands had conditioner. I didn't want to drop my child or the phone. So I said, here Cap, hold the phone. And in the moment that I said, hold the phone and I went like this to put her on the ground, my phone fell, the screen completely shattered to the point that I could not even answer a call at all. Like the screen was not working. I couldn't get out of kids mode. It was a whole freaking thing. This powder is nice. The powder is really, really nice. Like the setting spray, we already knew I liked that, but this powder really is translucent. It's not changing the shade of anything that I have on my skin. I applied it a little bit on top of this little contour serum because I wanted to see what that was going to be like. The serum is a beautiful shade for me. Powder balanced everything out. My skin still looks like my skin, just a little more balanced. I actually really like that. I'm gonna try this again, but with like a full coverage foundation to see what that's gonna look like. I wanna play around with the Fenty palette. So I'm gonna open this baby up. I think I wanna go with this creamy shade here. And I'm gonna apply that all over the lid on both eyes. So yeah, my screen is not working. And of course I still had to go out and about. So I had to carry Ty's phone, which is difficult. And I have zero access to anything of my own on that phone. So it was a mission within itself. We identified a location that could order the part for my phone, but it would have to be overnighted and they would replace it the very next day. So I spent a day without a phone, which made life super complicated because I didn't realize how attached to my phone I actually was in reality. So it's weird, like try to keep your phone away from yourself for 24 to 48 hours. It is bizarre. I felt completely lost, especially since my work has everything to do with social media. I had no access on my phone and not everything translates properly on computer. So even though I have my computer, it's not the same and you don't get all the same features. I grabbed the fluffy brush. I'm going to dip into this kind of dusty rose shade because I want to apply this all over the crease. Great, they ordered the part the next day. The part is ready. You can go drop off your phone. They're gonna repair it. They said, come back about an hour and a half. I came back in an hour and 40 minutes and they said, we still need time. Great, I will shop around because the location I went to was inside of a Walmart. So I was like, cool, you know what? As this company is fixing it, I'll go shop around, take a look at stuff, blah, blah, blah. I spent two and a half hours extra in store and they officially fixed my phone. I was so happy no one could do wrong by me. Cause I was like, oh my God, I only spent 24 hours without a phone and it was just the oddest sensation, the oddest feeling. But then when I bring my body home and I'm starting to get all these alerts and all these text messages, I realized that my phone is doing this weird rattling sound. And no, the sound was not there before I dropped off the phone. The only issue with my phone at the time, which was in perfect condition, was the fact that my screen was completely shattered and it was not working at all whatsoever. It was not detecting anything 
any touch. Grabbing another fluffy brush, I'm going to dip into this chocolate brown, which is a beautiful, rich brown. And I'm gonna pop this baby. Oh, wow, that's so pigmented. First of all, the other shades were beautiful. Um, This is more pigmented than I wanted because I wanted to keep the eyes simple, but okay, we're gonna make her work, girl. So I'm gonna kind of pop this baby here. I'll focus that here, and then I'll kind of blend that out a little bit, diffuse it with the brush that I used for the crease. So yeah, I told Juan, you know what? I've got content to film. I have to use my phone because I do a lot of uh, filming on my phone for social media, for ads, companies, whatever. I was like, whatever, you know what? I am on a deadline, so I'll go ahead, film what I can on my phone with the little buzzing sound, it's fine. I'll show up tomorrow when the store opens and just ask them to check my phone out because it's making a weird vibrating, uh, buzzing sound, almost like metal is hitting glass every time I got an alert. Nonetheless, I got my work done even more frustrating because every time I thought I was recording, I wasn't. I thought I filmed the same content, girl, like, four times. But whatever, it was done, it's been submitted, we move on, I'm like, you know what, things are looking up, we've had a crappy week, it's been pretty hard, but it's okay, things are looking up, it's getting easier, I figured I'll just film the one video that I'm missing, that way I can take the weekend off, I don't have to work, I spent time with my mom. If only life was that simple, I showed up at the store when they opened, happy, happy, good morning, listen, I was here yesterday, blah, 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 gave them the version of what happened, can you just like please check it? Sure, ma'am. We'll check it for you. It's gonna be a minute, but I can definitely check that out for you. Amazing, you're great. Thank you so much, Eddie. We're good. Like I said, I'm gonna grab the fluffy brush with nothing else on it. I'm just kind of like blending and diffusing out here. An hour and a half later, I go back and go, hey, Eddie, what do you got for me? Because I figured he fixed it or he couldn't fix it and it is what it is, right? It's not like directly affecting me, but I figured it wasn't there before. Maybe they can do something about it. Just when I thought my week was getting better because this week has been hectic again, explosive dog diarrhea, just picture that, right? Okay. He goes, well, you know, I didn't find anything. The adhesive was fine. So there was nothing for me to actually change, fix, adhere. And I go, okay, like, so it is what it is. He goes, but now we have a problem. Okay, Eddie, what's the problem, sir? What's the problem? Eddie says, I don't know what happened, but your screen was damaged. Let me show you guys my screen. Mr. Eddie gave me my phone back with a long ass line going across the screen. Yeah top to bottom. So when I gave him my phone, the screen was perfection. It was just a weird buzzing sound on the inside. He gives me my phone back with the buzzing sound and my screen has been 100% damaged. Again, the screen that I paid for and I paid extra money to have the process and packaging and everything and repair expedited. No, no, no. I got my repaired phone and got to keep it for just, what? a few hours and Mr. Eddie ruined my phone in literally a few minutes, which is bizarre to me. The brush that I used on the brown, no additional product. I'm gonna drag whatever's left under the eyeball. I wish there was like a purple cause that would look beautiful, but it's fine. I just wanna add a little something, something without it being too much. I didn't get any brow products, so I'm gonna do my brows with the Give Me Brow, uh, the Give Me Brow in number six, and then precisely my brow pencil in number six also. I'm gonna use the Persona Super Blush. This one again is in the shade Carmel. It's really nice. I'm gonna pop this baby on the cheeks. Very lightweight, but it is buildable, which is nice. Jaddy was a very not so happy person at that store. I lost it, cause my idea is, okay, so then replace it. Well, we don't have it. Okay, so order it and replace it because it's under warranty. Yeah, well, I can order it now, but it won't be ready till like Wednesday. Sir, why do I have to wait an entire week for you guys to replace my screen that you just damaged? Cause that wasn't what you, I was here for. If you would like for us to fix it overnight, we would have to overnight your screen. And that means you're gonna have to pay, but why? Cause I paid the service, this was not cheap, and I paid for this already to get it overnighted. You damaged my screen, you need to take responsibility for that you can't just sit here and be like oh well you know god is what it is it doesn't work that way now we're gonna try the mascara this is the butanique beauty great lengths mascara let's see how she's going to perform well ma'am you paid for a service we gave you that service yesterday you were here for something else. Something else that you guys caused, yes! So yeah, I got really frustrated, really upset. It became a whole freaking thing. Long story short, we ended up speaking to the owners and my screen will be once again replaced at no additional charge tomorrow. So I'm praying that that'll work out. So they're gonna do it overnight. That's a nice mascara actually. But my lashes 
are so freaking long and I'm getting mascara on the lid, which whenever that happens, I don't even go in to take it out. I will like blend whatever eyeshadows left on a brush and that helps deepen the crease. So now I have to sit here and go and spend another two hours at the store waiting for them to fix my phone. Like make that make sense, you know? And I'm telling them like, you, I'm not getting reimbursed for my time. This is crazy. I do like that the owner was responsible enough to be like, no, we're gonna go ahead and assume all costs. You will get a new screen and you will get your phone completely repaired by tomorrow, which I can truly appreciate. Oh my God. And then we got my mom in the pool. My mom is so scared of pools, deep water. And we got my mom in the pool. And that was chaos within itself, you guys. To get her in, she's screaming the whole time. When she actually touches the bottom of the pool, she's freaking out. She gets to sit down on one of the steps because, you know, she's like, no, I feel safer if I'm sitting on a step. Great, you know what, mom, sit on a step. It's cool. This was another chaotic moment. I got in my pool. I was only there five minutes. And then the gray clouds started making their way in. Then you hear thunder and then you see lightning and Carmen, you know, Carmen, my mom, starts freaking out and almost goes under. And then she's crying. It was a whole thing. And then for a lippy, I'm gonna use this lip stain. It is what the Reina Rebelde lip stain that I featured recently. It's actually really nice. I truly, truly just needed to take a moment for some me time. And this is a me time thing, you know? I get some peace and quiet. I get to vent with my friends and I get to play around with makeup. And no, it, it's not a dramatic makeup look for sure, but it's very day wearable. It's simple to put together. And honestly, it's kind of like my vibe for today because there's so much going on in here. But you guys hear it already, right? Like this. All right, you guys, but here is the completed look. I know it's really, really simple, but it's everyday wearable and that's pretty. Also, let me know if you like this background nice and dark with maybe more lighting, another color here or something like that. Or if you like it wide open, nice and bright on the background. I really want to hear your feedback on that. Let's get into the product roundup. The powder is a beautiful. I give it an A plus. Really, really nice. Brands are coming out with some really awesome powders. I'm not complaining about it. Formulas just keep getting better. The Fenty Beauty Palette. If you weren't able to snag it, but you get an opportunity, you need to. It's actually really nice. I'm going to create something else with shimmers and kind of like smoke it out because I feel Feel like I would do the palette justice if I were to do that so I will feature this palette again on the channel so stay tuned for that the formulas are blendable they're pigmented they're really really pretty you can build it or you can keep it really simple definitely worth the money the watermelon ultra fine mist by glow recipe I highly recommend it's beautiful it smells a little bit like watermelon jelly rancher it is not a setting spray but it preps the skin as part of your skincare so you have a beautiful base the mascara is actually really nice it's not gonna give you the most drama it's not gonna give you false like looking lashes but it definitely combs them through and makes them a little longer it's not gonna give you any thickness it gives you length the kvd serum is amazing so for me honestly like you guys already know i like this but for me these are like beautiful products. I highly recommend you guys give it a chance if you can. I'm really impressed with the serum contour. I didn't think that it would be this lightweight and easy to blend. Beautiful. But yeah, that is a feedback on the Ipsy items I featured today. Don't forget my giveaway is still open. You still have time to submit an entry form. So I'm going to link it in the description box below. Check out that video. Listen to the details. Make sure you follow the rules and submit your entry form. And if you're new to the channel, I want to personally invite you to join our family here on the YouTube by hitting the subscribe button below. I release videos six days out of the week because I want to make sure that you have fun ongoing content at all given times. And I'm going to suggest two videos here on screen. I'm hoping you'll consider checking out. And if you do, I'll see you guys over there. Bye, guys.